Hello everyone and welcome back to the next of our Transformers reviews and today we have my first ever third party figure, Dr. Wu Prime Commander. Now I know it's, oh, well, he's not too good, he's very good at standing up, it's just the specific pose I have him in, this iconic, well I mean it's not really iconic because he never does it in anything, but I like this Optimus Prime pose so I'm going to do it, and it's hard to get him to stand up in it. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've done a review, hasn't it? It has indeed been quite a while, but I'm back, and I'm going to be doing a couple more soon because I plan on doing a Walmart shopping spree and picking up at least two new figures. So, stay tuned for that. Probably be happening around next Sunday. Not, not this Sunday, the Sunday after that. Probably, probably sooner than that, but who knows. But anyway, we have... Dr. Wu Prime Commander, and before we take a look at this beautiful piece, we are going to talk about his packaging, which is very nice. It has that very Dr. Wu type style that you see in, like, uh, Microscope and such. I don't know any other Dr. Wu figures other than Microscope and Little Monster, and Little Monster's packaging looks like this as well. But yeah, we have his truck mode here, we have this a beautiful artwork of Prime Commander, 16 plus, which I only accept 16 plus because this guy does have some very small accessories, which would be lost in anyone younger. I mean, I'm younger, but who cares? I'm, I have the, I'm like, I'm more competent than I should be because I'm smart, I guess. Anyway, Prime Commander, DW EO4, uh, you have up top DW EO4 Extreme Warfare. Then you also have a sort of Decepticon Autobot thing going on here. Then on the back you have this picture of uh, Prime Commander driving over a little... Uh, this one specific part, like the packaging inside sticks out a little bit, so it's hard to get it to stay in. you got Extreme Warfare, Toy Color. And speaking of color, there is actually three, no, four variants of this. Which is, uh, no, five variants of this actually. You have a Toxitron. I don't know who that is. I know he's from G2. You have a Shattered Glass version. You have a Nemesis Prime version. You have a Gold Limited Edition version. And you have a Dead version, which they call the Sleep version, which I think is hilarious. But anyway, you have here, this toy is 5 centimeters, small deformation series. Contains small accessories. Please pay attention to play carefully to prevent damage and loss. Uh, I think that's just a result of this being a Japanese thing. It might be Chinese. I do not know what language this is. If you know what language that is, let me know. There on the back, Dr. Boo Studio stuff. And he also came with this card, which is made of a very nice feeling material. I don't know why. Then we have here a uh, little stats. You have vitality, attack, and defense, which are all very high, seeing as how he is. Prime Commander, or Optimus Prime. Then you have a bio here, if it'll focus. Prime Commander has excellent, excellent leadership and good heart. He is good at commanding battles and fighting against the, the sabotage of the rebel forces. That makes him sound a bit more evil than he is. Uh, which makes the Justice team trust him very much. He yearns for peace and loves all life in the world. He believes that only fighting can win real peace. See, I do kind of like that because it makes him sound very cool and it also shows that he's like a gener a genuine like military leader because it says only fighting can win real peace which is not like all of the like you know normal kids shows not kids shows but some shows that are like oh fight no violence i don't know something but yeah looking at the actual figure the basic concept behind this is it is a MicroMaster scale Optimus Prime, and he's so immensely good. He's got great articulation, and he's for being for being like ball joints on his arms, legs, and head. He's super stiff, and we'll get to that in articulation, I guess, for now. Oh, hang on one second here. Just got a message. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. But yeah, we have him, and he's got great details for something so small. Got these cool leg plates. 
Got this nice faux grill on his chest. The very nice, he has like nice reflective paint as you can tell. And the face, gotta get close here. Whoa, whoa, that is out of focus. Okay, we're gonna hold him a bit further away, but I'm sure you can see his face just fine. You cannot, wow, that is weird. There we go, there you can see his face. Is very nice and Optimus Prime-y looking. It looks like Optimus Prime, but more like chiseled, I suppose. He's got his nice fins here. The cool crest on the top of his head. Very accurate head. Yeah, from the back, you do have this, the real grill sticking out. And he does sort of have these, uh, these things, wheels on the side, but those aren't really noticeable. They're uh, less noticeable than they are on uh, Siege Prime, which is a good thing. Then you've got, I like how uh, the cool the vehicle mode parts here form, oh, sorry, form the leg things that he usually has on the side of his legs. But yeah, for now, let's talk about his accessories. Then we'll get into articulation. So we, he comes with his trailer, and this is how it's packaged, is he's in robot mode, standing there, and then you have the trailer that, ha that will have all the accessories stored like so this is a uh this is the i think it's like the second release of it originally it was just uh prime commander and his gun but this version here comes with prime commander a little roller which for his name being roller he doesn't roll oh no he does roll pretty well i was just rolling him on a weird surface before but yeah he rolls okay you're just jiggling it's giving me like some sort of mess up but yeah roller rolls pretty well then on the inside of the trailer, you also have these little arm things that we'll get to in a minute, but he, actually, no, we'll take these out, and we'll take this out, nope, I accidentally knocked that off, basically, you would unplug these, and you plug them into these things here, where did the other one go, oh, oh, there it is, but yes, you plug these into here, angle them, oh, whoa, whoa, Angle them inward. Then you can have Prime Commander in his little repair bay thing that he has sometimes. We'll get rid of that for now. We'll address that more in vehicle mode. But yes, he also comes with his lightsaber axe thing and his gun. And the way that he holds these, because as you can see, he does not have holes in his hands. He simply has little notches here. Here, you can't see that here. And what you do is you just clip this onto his arm. Like so. And there you can have him wielding his cool inner John axe. You can also do the same thing with his gun. And have him holding it. From the one side, the axe doesn't look too good because you can see his hand. But if you hold it, like, from a good angle there... Then his gun looks very natural, like it, it makes it look like some kind of hand guard thing that some weapons have. And it makes it look like the handle is just in his hand, but it's really not. And overall, his accessories are really nice. I haven't checked if this is, whoa, don't fall. I'm good. One second here, I'm going to check if this is blast effect compatible. Or fire blast, whatever they're called. I don't know. But yeah, let's see here. Can I plug a fire blast on here? Oh, oh, you can. You can give him fire blasts. Let's get him into a leap of pose. Hang on. Gotta get him into the iconic Optimus Prime leap. Boom. There we go. Optimus Prime leaping and firing. Very iconic. Very iconic. But yeah. I also don't know if I mentioned this, but just so G1 accurate. He's beautiful. But yeah, we'll get rid of his gun. And we'll get rid of his axe. Then we will... Whoa. Before we get into transformation, let's do some comparisons. And this... I'm probably not going to do, like, a bunch of them. Like, right, you'll, you'll see. So we have Prime Commander. And I'm not going to do the small bots because uh, they're mixed in with the collection because I recently started displaying my collection and I don't want to have to deal with that. So here we have a uh, world's smallest bumblebee and this is just great scale. I love this scale. I'm going to use this in like an animation or something because this scales just so well for some reason. 
I've only realized that now. Oh my gosh. Okay, why are you standing weird? Prime. Prime. There you go, Prime. Good. But yeah, there he is with World's Smallest Bumblebee. Then, of course, we'll bring in the skill that he is meant for. We have Micromasters. We have a... Uh, last... These are the only Micromasters that I really have. Which is... Oh my gosh, he never stands up. He never stands up. Okay. We have Blastmaster. Fine. Lay down. I don't care. And then we have the one that actually stands up, which is Fuser. There he is with Fuser and Blastmaster. And this just looks cool. This makes Fuser and Blastmaster look a lot more, like, cool with them being actually in scale with other bots. And uh, let's see how well the, uh, the rocket will look. Alright, here he is with Fuser and Blastmaster in rocket mode. Which is just cool scaling. Oh. Terribly sorry about that. See? Here you go. Here he is with a rocket ship, I guess. Um. <clears throat> And then we have, for Legend Scale, Chop Shop. And once again, making the smaller bots look a lot more intimidating. Chop Shop towering over him as he does. He'll probably look a lot scarier in Spider Mode. I'll get to that in VFD Mode. Then, of course, for Deluxe Scale, we have Waspinator. Thrilling 30 Waspinator. And Waspinator... Is that big compared to him? And I love this figure. Don't buy the Kingdom one. Buy this instead of the Kingdom one. This one's so much better than Kingdom. Buy him. He's amazing. He's a bit loose. But that's just because I bought him Hughes. And you're probably going to have to buy him Hughes, but still. And then for Voyager, we'll bring in my favorite guy. Tarn. There he is with Tarn. I'm going to make something that's like... Tarn turned into a giant or something because that just looks too cool to pass up. And you know what? We'll do Titan class and leader class scale. Here he is with my combiner collection. There we go. That just looks awesome. That's a great scale. <laughs> like that scale looks super cool. Makes them look a lot more monstrous and big and awesome. Anyways, that'll be it for comparisons. Oh, I bumped the table. Also, I got a new chair, so now I don't have to film from that awkward angle that I did the, uh... <coughs> Sorry. That I did the Bone Crusher and Starscream reviews from. I never did articulation. I'm gonna do that now. So we have these shoulder joints here that are on pins. Forward and back movement on a ball joint, which I didn't realize was a ball joint, so technically you can move it up and down here, too. But yeah, he's got a uh, forward and back movement. It's more like a backwards butterfly joint, which is is usually on prime figures. You have a ball jointed elbow that's very stiff, which is a good thing. Or not stiff, but it's stiff for a ball joint on a figure like this. So that's good. He's got a quite stiff head, which is on a ball joint, kind of like how Rumble's was. Uh, same articulation on both arms. He does not have a waist joint, but he does have, like, this, which I guess you can use as a waist joint, pretty much. Kind of exposes the tires a bit more than I'd like them than I'd like them to be exposed, but, you know, this is, he has this, if you can call this an ab crunch. <laughs> About as natural looking as a one-step changer Grimlock's ab crunch. Link in the description. Go check out that review. That was very funny. <clears throat> But yes, and then we also have ball-jointed hips that can go back surprisingly far for how much of a backpack he has, and forward a good amount. His knees are on a hinge. They can, well, they can move back a little bit under 90, and forward slightly more than they should be able to, but that doesn't mean they can move forward a tiny bit. Then the toes move down and are on a ball joint, so you can also... Give the He doesn't have ankle tilt, but you can give the illusion of ankle tilt by tilting just his toe. I know there are some other figures that have done that. Like, uh, I might have some. I'm not going to go looking for them, but I'm pretty sure I have some of those. The ones that have just a toe tilt instead of an ankle tilt. <clears throat> but yes, now we will move on to transformation. So the first thing that I like to do is collapse his head, which you're just going to do by rotating it 180 and folding it back on the ball joint. 
then just tab his legs together using these two very secure tabs. Eh. Eh. There you go. Then move his toes down, which can be a bit annoying because sometimes they like to just move randomly and it's hard to get them perfect. But yeah, so that it looks like that. Then this is really cool because you don't see this too often. Sliders. I haven't seen that since like G1 and I don't even have any G1 toys. I might. I might do a G1 review eventually. G1 Astro Train. Stay tuned, maybe. <clears throat> and next you are going to rotate the upper torso. Then use the weird ab crunch thing. Next, you're going to bring down these tires. Bring down these tires a little bit more than how they normally sit. Also, I would like to point out that I don't have the Mani, but the instructions, he's packaged in robot mode and the instructions start in vehicle mode. So it's a bit hard to learn how to transform this guy. So, meh. Yeah, then you use the butterfly joint to move his shoulders back. Arms. Neat. This is pretty much just standard uh, Optimus Prime transformation from here. Just butterfly joints back and then the arms just slot in. Then the tires will tab in to there. And then one more step. Just take these leg bits and they will not tab in but they do sort of like... They have a very specific place that ensures that they won't move right there. And then there you have the very, very nice looking G1 truck mode. Oh, his shoulders are a little bit bent. There we go. Nice G1 truck. It looks very, very G1 accurate. From certain angles, it doesn't look too good, like from the top. But you're not going to be displaying him like this. <laughs> you're... You're probably not going to be displaying him in vehicle mode at all, but still. He can do a pooth. I stole it from that toy guy, obviously, but yes, he does do a pooth. And hit uh, Peekaboo Prime, I believe it's called. And that's funny. That's just really funny. <clears throat> Let's just keep that concealed. And yeah, you can, of course, bring in, you know, I got to transform it first. You can just put that in, oh, nope, put that in there, and put this in there, hold them up, and you can have the trailer all situated, and then this tabs in with this little thing here that goes into that tiny little thingy, and that hooks over that tiny little thingy, and there you have... Prime Commander with his trailer. And that is so, so cool. It's like, uh, also, I do feel the need to mention that there is a world, like a official Hasbro thing that's called the World's Smallest Optimus Prime. And it's like a little bit bigger than this. So this is technically, if you don't count the official world, like the one that's made by the company called World's Smallest, which... I guess that makes this the world's smallest transforming Optimus Prime, because the world the the world's smallest company one, the same one that made this guy, also makes an Optimus Prime, and their Optimus Prime cannot transform, just like how the Bumblebee cannot transform. Hell, he can't even move his legs. But anyway, here he is with Roller. There's Roller. And now I have to do some comparisons with Giant Bugs. Also, arachnomechanophobia warning. I don't know if that's a real thing. I just made it up. But, spider. Here he is with a giant spider. Which is terrifying. But even more terrifying, here he is with an even bigger wasp. Oh my gosh. You're gonna tell me that you just decided to give up on standing? Okay, good. You didn't. There you go. There he is with a giant wasp. And this, this is my nightmare. This is horrifying. This is wrong. This should stop existing. Get out of here. Fly off that way. Um, anyway. Terrifying. Terrifying giant bugs. Nobody wants that. Wait a second. No? Okay. I was going to see if that was a uh, fire blast. But it's not. That would be cool, but it isn't. Anyway, you can 
sort of, to an extent, kind of, uh, open up the trailer. You can open up the trailer, just normally. There you go. And you can sort of put Roller in there, but he doesn't, like, go too well because of the things. Like, he won't, like, he doesn't roll in or out of there. You just kind of have to shove him in. Like, look, if you just... He won't roll out. Oh, I mean, he does, I suppose, but not. he doesn't exactly do it elegantly. Eh, come on. And he only goes in forwards. Yeah, there's roller in the thing. And also, the way that this connects is really cool. You have a tab in a slot here. And you just, as you close it, oh, no, nope, unless you do it wrong. As you close it, they just tab together. And, nope, stay, stay, stay good, good, good. There you go. There you have, I get, I, one second, my tongue just died. Oh, I almost lost all of my fire blasts. I didn't, but I guess that will be just about all for the eh, Dr. Wu Prime Commander, also known as Micromaster Optimus Prime. I will almost 100% be buying, uh, uh, what is it called, Menace King, I think. I will definitely be buying Menace King when he comes out. And if you don't know, that is a, uh, it's basically this, but it's Megatron instead of Optimus Prime. And I am super excited for that. I cannot wait for the pre-orders to start. I'm probably going to have to wait, like, a whole year for it. Like, once I pre-order it, because not only did I have to wait a whole month for the Like, I had to wait a month for this just to ship from China. Why did I say China like that? Just to ship from China. And that was a bit annoying. And I have to wait for pre-order, like, time. That kind of sucks, but it's worth it for Menace King. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get him into a pose here for the ending shot. Come on, come on, pose, pose, there we go, anyway, that has been my review of Dr. Wu Prime Commander, aka Micromaster Scale Optimus Prime, and thank you everybody so much for watching, do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, and subscribe, I especially appreciate it when you comment, as it shows me that you cared enough to comment on the video, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.